Hey guys, Craig Benz here with a quick demonstration of some of the new content aware filter capabilities in Lemenzia Basics version 8. In this image, I've taken eight raw exposures, combined them together as an HDR panorama in Lightroom, and then further processed them in Lightroom. There are two residual problems we need to fix in Photoshop. The first is the distortion causing this road to be bent, and the second are the transparency gaps in these corners. Now these corners could have been addressed using either boundary warp or cropping over in Lightroom, but throwing away pixels or warping them too much is oftentimes not the best approach. We can usually get better results in Photoshop, which we'll do here. But let's first take care of this warped road. In order to give ourselves a straight target to reference, let's go and create a new layer. And then I'll hit B for my brush and simply click on one end of the road and then shift click where I think the road should be straightened to. I don't know that I'll hit this line exactly, but it gives me something to aim for and compare to. We hit Command T now to transform. Actually, let's escape that. Make sure we're on the smart object. Hit Command T and now go up and click on the warp. With the warp, we can grab any of these different little points such as right here and try and bring the road up to better match this magenta line or at least follow its rough path. So I'm looking at kind of the bottom edge of the road, trying to see if I can't match that without creating gaps on the edge here and just kind of straighten things out a little bit better here. And that to me looks like it's a pretty good job. I can choose to open up the bottom here a little bit if I want to. And that may just kind of settle things down, try and keep things overall as consistent as I can. Not worried about perfection. There's always gonna be some distortion in the image. I think that looks pretty good. Click on the check mark to okay that. Then we'll turn off our reference here and just hit Command Z to look from before to after. And you can see how it's nicely straightened out the road to give us a better looking result here. Now I think we're ready to start filling in these corners. We could get rid of our correction layer or reference layer here and hit W for the wand and then select the missing pixels in the corner. Normally you go up to edit, content aware fill, but as you can see, it's grayed out because I sent this image over as a smart object. I like having the flexibility to change things with a smart object. So I'd prefer to work with this rather than rasterize it. And we can do that by working through the Lumenzia Basics fill option. When we click on fill, we have the option to content aware fill. We can optionally choose to sample all layers. So if I had multiple layers from exposure blend or other work I've done, we could pull from all of them instead of just the active layer. And then I can also choose to expand or contract my active selection. Given that the wand is prone to being off by about a pixel, I think expanding by one pixel is a good choice. We'll click OK. This will pull up the content aware fill dialog, which you can see has already done a great job of filling in that problem. We'll click OK and we fix things. Now there is a bit of a white line here, but it's a false line. When we zoom in, you can see it doesn't really exist. So make sure you zoom in closer to about a 100% or so, and then you'll see whether there truly is an issue with your image or not. That's just a way that Photoshop kind of previews things when you're zoomed back with layers. It's not really in the image. You can also create a stamp of the image if you click the stamp button in basics here. When you have a complete layer, it will fill that in. So you don't run into the preview issues when you have a single layer. It's the combination of multiple layers zoomed out that causes that false preview artifact. Now we can go through and select the rest of the mix missing pixels and fill them one by one, or we can do them all at once. I'm going to delete this content aware fill. And now with nothing selected at all, just click on fill and Lemenzi will automatically find all the missing areas and help us fill them in with content aware. Adjust the green areas if you need to, but otherwise click OK and give Photoshop a second to render the content aware fill. And as you can see here, we've completed the fill. Let's just zoom in and see how we've done. Top right looks great. The bottom right, we need to zoom in a little bit further. It also looks great. Bottom left, everything is looking really nice. So we've got a great result here with one single click of the fill button. And as you can see, we've retained the underlying smart object. So if we ever need to go back and make changes to the image, we can double click this. We have all the original camera raw settings that we can adjust for this scene, make changes. We would just simply have to go back and redo the fill, but because it's a one click operation, it's very easy to catch up and maintain a non-destructive workflow. To learn more about Lemenzia, please head over to gregbenzphotography.com slash Lemenzia.